All right. So you see, it looks really summery. That's kind of what we're talking about today. Summer. Don't get me wrong. Here I am, you guys. We're talking about China and summer. A news article just came out today, you guys, saying that they are doing, for right now, it's a trial, but they're trying to ban, this is China, that is banning, right now it's a trial, ESL, F-E-S-L instruction, tutoring instruction over student holidays and weekends. So those of you, yeah, that teach during summer holiday or the holiday breaks they have throughout the school year or that teach on the weekends, this is going to affect you. So now may be the time if this is what you really rely on as far as primary income or supplementary income, now might be the time to get that second, third, fourth, however many other things in play that are not from China-based companies. For right now, it's a trial in certain areas. And then in a year's time, the hope is that it's going to be countrywide. So take a look at this article. I have a link in the description below as well. If you want to read it for yourself, I'm going to show you and I'm, we're going to talk about it. Weigh in and don't forget to like because when you like the video, then YouTube tells me basically you're doing a great job. Keep it coming. All right, here we go. Okay, so this just came out today, you guys. Look. Exclusive. So China is having tougher rules for the private tutoring. This affects all of you ESL, EFL teachers, okay? And they're talking about not just the local tutoring companies, but, you know, the ones that are kind of outsourced, if you will. Those of us that don't live in China, but we work for ESL, EFL tutoring companies. Like, you know, a lot of the popular ones. There's a long list of them now. So it says that they're going to have a tougher crackdown on the country's 120 billion private tutoring industry. So right now it's in the trial stages of it. It's a trial ban on both online and offline tutoring. So they're saying that it's not going to be like all seven days of the week all year long, but they want to ban when the students are supposed to be on holiday. You know how sometimes the parents like to book their students tutoring classes and things on those, you know, during the times they're on holiday or over the weekend, late at night, after school, after all their other classes and extracurricular activities, then they come to tutoring classes, right, to practice their English skills. So what China's trying to do is they're trying to put a stricter ban on it. If you remember, what, a couple of years ago, a few years ago, a little while ago, they started to put this strict rule that, all right, absolutely no ESL tutoring of the sorts after 9 p.m. So they made it more stricter that way to where uh, parents can have their children up like 10 o'clock or 1030 or so taking classes, even if it was the weekend. They put strict rules on that so then companies stop offering later times. That is companies that are based out of China. Other countries, don't have those restrictions, but companies that are based out of China, they did have those restrictions. So that, that's what they mean when they say tougher, because now they're saying, okay, in addition to that, we want to take out weekends. So nope, they won't be able to do it on the weekends. And nope, they won't be able to do it while they're on holiday. Now, they are very well aware that this is going to affect a lot of companies. They said it's going to pretty much deprive the companies 70 to 80 percent of their annual revenue. That's what a few of the sources have said. And looking into this, you know, I'm not going to read this to you guys verbatim because you guys can read, but I will put the link to this article in the description 
below. So I'll have the link if you guys want to go in and read everything that it says. I'm trying to not move so fast. You guys can kind of read it here. But the reason for doing this is the president is saying that the school should be responsible for the student learning, not the tutoring companies. They don't want these parents relying on tutoring companies to have their children excel. They want the parents to rely on the school system to do that. And so they're kind of trying to take the reins on that. And another reason for this is they want the other parts of the country to follow suit. Right now, it's going to be on a trial basis for Beijing, Shanghai, and Jiangsu. I think I said that right. Jiangsu. I think I said that right. You know, I don't have good pronunciation with my American accent. <laughs> okay, so those are the places that they're going to do the trial. And then they're hoping that then everybody else just follows suit. And they'll, they eventually want this to be country countrywide. But for those three, Beijing, Shanghai, and Shaosu, that, that will be going on, the trial will be going on for 12 months. So the ban will start there for 12 months. And that's where a lot of these companies are stationed. They're stationed in those locations. Now, Dada, I believe, is now stationed in Hong Kong, I think. So I think they're in Hong Kong, because they used to be in Shanghai, because remember, I went to Shanghai, and... Uh, that's where it used to be. But then I think 2019 was when they moved to Hong Kong. I think the main building's in Hong Kong. So Dada may not be affected in any other one that is not in those three, any other companies that does not base, if their base is not in those three, then they might not be affected as of yet either. Another reason I was getting to this point, another reason for the ban was they're saying that they want parents to have more children. Parents are spending so much money on this ESL, you know, after school weekend tutoring that because they want their kids to be successful and it's available for them, that they're not seeing it as a smart choice for them to have more children because of finances. So they're like, hey, you know, Look, we don't want you so stressed trying to put your children in all these extra things. We want to help you free up some time, which I still think it should be parents' choice. You know, you can't kind of tell parents how to dictate their time. But that's just my opinion. It could be maybe since other parents are doing it, then other parents do it because they're competing. It could, that's, I can see, because they're saying that competition is fierce in the parenting circles. So, I mean, if you have parents that are more concerned about competing and against the other parents with their children's, I, um, I don't know, skill set, ability, if there's that constant competition there, then it's, I guess if it's available, then, hey, they're doing it, I'm going to do it. To me, it's kind of that keeping up with the Joneses mentality. So they're kind of making a decision for them. They want them to be able to have more kids. They want them to not focus on, okay, this is how much I need to put back for ESL, EFL, because everybody else is doing it. So this is the expectation. They're like, hey, chill out. Just have more babies. <laughs> That's what they really want them to do. So it's really more of a, a mindset type thing that they want to shift the parents over into. But for those of you that are with companies that are based out of China, I've been saying this for quite some time, okay? I've been saying this, you know, hey, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Yes, it's great to be loyal to a company. I am all for that. You should have your loyalties, but kind of spread things out a little bit. So this is the chance that if you are with just Chinese companies, you might want to kind of diversify what you're doing a little bit more, spread it out a little bit more, find other companies. Cambly, OutSchool, there's a couple. I'm sure there's many more. I, I don't know, Wells English maybe? I don't know if that's in China or where that's at. Uh, I'm just throwing some out there. I don't really know them all. I'm not with that many companies. 
the ones that I am with that are not in China are Cambly, OutSchool, and of course, I'm now full-time with K-12, which is, you know, based in the United States of America. I'm a middle school virtual teacher. Outside of that, the other companies that I'm with are based out of China, but I do those super duper duper, like whatever less than part-time is, that's what I do with Go Go Kid and Palfish. That's what I do. And I did not renew my contract with Bling ABC. So I'm just with Go Go Kid and Palfish outside of the other three. So what do you guys think? Weigh in. I would love to hear what you guys think. The link will be down below. So if you guys want to read it, it'll be available for you. And maybe you can spread the news in your own social circles. Please like, subscribe, send other people to my channel. I try to keep you guys up to date with what is going on and help you guys kind of diversify your work portfolio. Versify, diver, versify, diversify your resume. So as always, TTFN. <laughs>